I'm positive. Perhaps it happened after the murder? Yeah. <laughs>decisive evidence right yeah that involves like hard evidence
Mr. Right. Did you just you slam on your dick? About this case, it's now or never. Don't be mis don't be misled. Misled. I haven't told um oh mis <laughs> <laughs> don't be misled. Really, one word. I haven't told a single lie here. Eh. And I noticed the trap. Put the card in the bottle to dispose of it. <laughs> and why I put the hat on his victim's head? Let's just say I had a reason for doing that as well. Uh, a reason? That reason is right here. My Nokia telephone. Your cell phone? That night. Recall that I spoke with defense attorney Gavin after calling the police. Just in case, I recorded our conversation. What's this? Now that we're all here, I see no reason why I shouldn't play it back for the court. Ah, oh, Phoenix. <laughs> Stop. I seem to be in a bit of trouble. What's this? Game not going well? Something like that. The gentleman who challenged you, he turned out to be good? Turned out to be dead. Someone hit him. Hard. You mean someone cracked that flawless bone china plate? Pate? Pate. It wasn't you, was it? Me? Please. Cops shouldn't be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that? Bonachita Pate? I think it's China. <laughs> kind of porcelain. Very smooth and shiny. And not. Uh, Plate up, uh, but plate or pate? I don't know. <laughs> I believe he was referring to a certain gentleman's balding forehead. So, what a disc shot through? Hmm. The court appreciates the defendant's discretion is not in indicating my forehead. Wait a second. Something's not right about that cell phone call. About that phone call. So, after Mr. Gavin ate dinner with you. He left the Borscht Bowl Club? Most certainly. Then... Then how did he know? When did he see this bone giant plate? Oh! I, I... Oh! That's right! Oh, yeah, that's right! Yes! That was when I began to see my own good friend in a different light. <clears throat> Troubled, I turned to the crime scene. When I spotted Mr. Smith's head again, I realized exactly what was wrong. Well, Mr. Gavin, the stage has been set. Perhaps you would like to explain this to the court? Exactly how did you come by the privileged knowledge of the victim's head? Hmm. So, this is your reason. The reason why you put your the victim's hat back on. Your point, Mr. Gavin. It's come down to this, has it, Phoenix Wright? No, 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 Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. I believe this court has been left with no other choice. Are you prepared to hear Defense Attorney Gavin's testimony? Oh. Ahem. Speak. As a prosecutor, I... Very well. We'll break it for ten minutes. After Mr. Gavin will take a stand for the cross-examination. Are we clear on that? Crystal clear, Your Honor. Very well. This will be the final recess of the day. Alright, let's pause. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so which one do you think? When I return, he is dead. Should we present the bottle? Because the bottle is in full condition. Don't do it right now. Just pre press him first. Alright, press. Hold it! Hold it! And when you return, the victim is already dead. Yes. I'll admit, I was a little startled when I walked in. Uh, a little? He's bleeding from his forehead after all. I guess I'd be startled too if I walked in on a crime scene like that. Hmm. Hmm. You wanna press about the last one too? The last one? Yeah. Crap. Let me just skip because I freaking I don't even it doesn't tell you when like it's the last thingy. Uh, on defense attorney Gavin. Mm -hmm. Press. Hold, Hold it. it. 
Could you explain why you call Missy Gavin? I obviously got involved in a rather sticky affair. And I figured Chris lost the law offices would give me a friend rate for my different fees. Ah, glad to hear you intend to pay. Oh, I'll pay in full, Crystal. Because I have got you involved after all. You may find the price of your defense quite high, my good friend. Quite high. Is this the truth that Mr. Wright was talking about? Justice, you know what you Oh god, it's a loop. Crap. Yeah. Alright, so what's the plan? I think we should exp uh, present the bottle. Because it was a cut on his head. But, I don't think it... Well, then again... Wait. If it was a cut on his head, shouldn't the ball be at least broken? Or cracked? Yeah, I think so. Sh should we present this? Well, that's not really proving him innocent, though. Girl was knocked out cold, and Mistress and Smith was. Well, what do you think? You wanna press the other ones too? The girl was knocked out cold. We did that one. Oh. I don't think, I don't think there's anything else to pr press, Joseph. Uh, Our only chance is the bottle. Okay, let's do that one. When I return, he was dead. Present the bottle. Uh huh. Okay, three, two, one, and objection! objection! I don't know. No, it's not. Oh my god, no, it's not. It does? I don't see. Oh, god damn it. What if? Ah, oh, god. God, I don't know which one. Let's press all of them. Start from the beginning. Alright. That evening. Alright, press. Hold it! Hold it! You had dinner with Miss Gavin? Yes. He advised me at the Bosch Book Club quite frequently. We were enjoying a usual dinner at the usual spot. As usual. Usual. I always eat at the table close to the piano. I see. Where Mr. Smith was sitting. So, the place in such a random table would bring me dinner? Indeed. The remnants of my new Kristoff. He dined for two hours, then Kristoff left. After that. Excuse me, but the remnants of Kristoff left. Hmm. Press. Press. Five minutes? So the two of them could have passed in the restaurant during that time? That would have been a fateful encounter to be sure. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Wright. What was it you said? Christoph Gavin and Shady Smith may have met. I believe I did say that. You're all as nervous about this meeting. How <laughs> you we hear that they just passed in the hall? Hmm. That does seem a little weak as a pretense. Pretense for murder. Oh, it would be. If that was all that really happened. Come on, Mr. Wright. What are you hiding this time? Alright. When the trap failed, Smith hit the waitress. That one. Press! Hold it! About this failed trap. This is the same trap that Miss Olga or really mentioned. Wait, is this one? Oh, the plan was simple, elegant, really. You see, we set up traps, sorts. We plant a card in Wright's pocket beforehand. 
and then deal five aces during one of the games. Revealing the hands were revealed. Skip. He would then pull out the planet card and the trap would snap shut. Stop the cards. Just like that, the legend would be dashed into pieces. Yes, a harmless prank, in essence. It was by a quirk of fate that I happened to discover it. A quirk? I happened to put my hand in my pocket and found a card. The card she planted! Yes, I snuck in it. I snuck a peek at it and found it was a five of hearts. I had a deal. I had a feeling something might happen, so I disposed of the card before the game. Disposed? Where? There was an empty bottle of grape juice that I had been drinking right beside me. I threw the card inside the bottle. An empty bottle of grape juice? The a murder weapon! <laughs> yes, I rolled it up and shoved it in. Color Ew. glass makes it hard <laughs> to see. <laughs> Hmm, a battle which between the deceiver and the would be deceived. That sounds like a terrific drama. Horror inside the murder weapon. That's strange. The police must sit in their investigation. Maybe I'll take a look. Mr. Wright. Deceive. Oh, Mr. Wright, the poker head of courtroom number three approved of this battle of wits. Please revise your testimony with this new information. Mm -hmm. We got a new one. I uh, discovered the trap during the game and disposed of the card in the bottle. Press. Wait, we gotta see it. Wait, 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 wait. Shady walked in. Wait. Let's look at the bottle. Okay. Check. Just see if you can see it. I don't know what that would exactly... Oh, I see it. No, I don't. Wait, is that it? Bro, I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking at. Me neither. Examine. Press examine. It's so... Oh, examine. The bottle is completely empty. You lied to me! <laughs> you, you lied to me! You wanna present it? Present! Objection! Got it. Um, Mr. Wright, if I may? Yes. I've examined the bottle and I don't see any card in here. Hmm? No? What? Mr. Wright, surely isn't all you have said for yourself. I can't say that I know what happened to the card. I did put it in that bottle, however. Perhaps a fifth person came and took it out. Oh, and a sixth person could have helped. Mr. Gavin, Mr. Wright is your client. My apologies, Your Honor. I don't know how he's disparaging our investigation either. If look inside that bottle, there is nothing. So what's going on? Mr. Wright heard looking us again. Or is the car just disappeared? In any case, please continue the cross-examination. I'm afraid the decisive contradiction calls for decisive evidence. Oh. Push him harder, justice, break him! It's just you and the witness in the ring. Go for the KO. Uh, why do I get the feeling our client's not- our, We're not on our client's side anymore. That evening, Christoph and I had dinner and we sat at the table in this photograph. Shady Smith walked in five minutes after Christoph left. I discovered the trap was during the game and I disposed of the card in the bottle. Uh. This music is killing the mood. <laughs> I will not have this. Hold on. I'm going to fix this fucking music. <laughs> Typical. Sounds good. 
Okay, that just sounds horrible. What is wrong with me? I'm sorry. Nope, that even sounds worse. Oh my god. What the hell? What is wrong with the sounds? Mm. Jeez. It's like it's dying. Okay, now, you know what? I, I don't know what I can do about it. Crap. Is it the frame rate? Let me see. Is this the frame rate? Okay, it's not the frame rate. So what do you think so far, Joseph? Mm, I don't know. Hmm. I think I fucked with the sound so much that it's all broken. Shady Smith walked in okay. When I discover the trap that in the Smith of I'm gonna press on this. I discovered the trap during the game. I press just did that. Oh we did? Why in the bottom? Did you do it? What? Did you press it? Uh oh. You said we just did that, so I didn't do it. Uh, you can do it. I think it's different. All right, press. Hold it. Hold it. I skipped it. Bottle. Oh. Proceed, my opponent's imminent. Yeah, the audio is killing my mood. I'm on the I am used to enchantment. I knew it was coming. At least when you get lucky, it's 60. Yeah. I'm just gonna skip it too. Alright. Well, I can't figure this anything out. Um, I mean, we got photos, but. I don't know what else to say. Okay, well, the girl was knocked out cold and Mr. Smith was uncontrollable. I left to call the police. Wait, let me press on that. The girl was knocked out cold. Hold it! You made the call the police in the first place. We did this one. Okay. Well, crap, I don't know then. Shady Smith. Uh, should we present on the I discovered the trap during the game? Or did we do that already? We did that. No, I think we presented on the bloody stream from the cut on his forehead. No, it, we just did the other one. That's where we got the... When he was explaining everything. You see that life bar on top, Joseph? Yeah. I'm gonna take risk. <laughs> we just did that. No, we did the one where we got streaming cut from his forehead. No. Yes. Suppose, suppose the guard in the bottle, and he was, and we presented it, and he was like, "I'm sure I put it in there," and then the guy was like, "Christoph was like, oh okay, it could be a fifth or sixth person helping him." Well, what other suggestions do we have? I don't know. Hmm. Blood streaming. I, don't know. He was I discovered the trap during the game and disposed of the card in the bottle. Girl is knocked out cold. Smith is in trouble. Sense. Uh, what do we have to present? I'm gonna present. Uh, press on something. There you go. Dead, yes, and mid. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm completely clueless. Are you? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the 
There's no way else to expose him, Mr. Gavin. <laughs> All right. He had dinner. We sat at the table in this photograph. Shady Smith walked in five minutes after Kristoff left. Hmm. Press on that. Did you press? Yeah. All right. Five minutes. So. Oh, it's your. I skipped it. We did that one. <laughs> oh my god. I'm forgetting. I don't know. I'm like. Let's the trap in the bottle. And you know what? Let's just. Hold on. Since Mr. Gavin wants to freaking. Uh, time of death was around 2 a.m. Oh! Autopsy report. Wait, we can still have that. Uh, what's the autopsy report say? Single blow to the forehead. All right. Um. Okay, you know where it says like he has a giant cut on his forehead? Mm -hmm. You think if we present the autopsy report, you think it might? Cause like it says a single blow to the forehead. But he said there's a giant. But then he's fucking right about it. Oh my god, I don't know. Let me examine the fucking bottle again. Empty. I forgot you can check all these things. Oh Alright, you know what? I'm gonna talk. Alright. I think. We should present. Let's see here. Check. Anything, I Joseph? We gotta. We gotta think of something. Um. Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck here all day, <laughs> figuring out what the hell happened. All or nothing, Joseph. I'm presenting it. Presents when um, when I return, he was dead, blood streaming from the cut on his forehead. You ready? Yeah. And present. Jackson. Jackson. Uh, we, we messed up, didn't we? Same. Yeah. Oh my god! Well, what else is there? photo doesn't tell us anything victim's hand doesn't tell us anything the bottle is the only thing I can think of that's actually like worth something to present let me check this phone records or I can't do that never mind oh my yeah Okay. That evening, Christoph and I had dinner. We sat at a table in the photograph. 